Today we continue reading from Unwind Your Mind Back to God, Book 1, Laying the Foundation, Chapter 1, Section 10. Form, Content Question About Approaching Salvation Hi David, I read something you wrote that I would like some help on. It matters not what road you have taken, be it the Bible, A Course in Miracles. As you know, I started ACIM about a year ago. After a number of years doing Eastern spiritual stuff like Transcendental Meditation, ACIM re-sparked an interest in Christianity. In September, I did the Alpha Course, a non-denominational introduction into Christianity. I also attended the particular church that held this course, an evangelical Pentecostal church. It appealed to me because, unlike some of the more traditional churches I had been exposed to when I was young, where, in my opinion, there was much man-made ritual and a distinct lack of God or the Holy Spirit, this was more like a gospel church. I agree with your statement and it has been my philosophy, but my question is this. The particular Christian church mentioned above points to a single passage in the Bible, in John's Gospel, where Jesus says no one can come to God except through him. They then continue, Therefore, anyone who puts their faith in ley lines, or Zen or Buddha, or Allah, etc., is misguided, since only through Christ Jesus comes salvation. Can these two seemingly different stances be reconciled? Beloved one, the universal spirit is the way, the truth, and the life. The spirit is one, and the Christ spirit, or Holy Spirit, or one spirit. No man comes unto the Father but by me. Book of John, chapter 14, verse 6, is the universal call to remember eternal oneness. The paths and the forms of the world seem to be many and different, but the call remains the same. There can be no truth or absolute in form, for form was made by the ego to deny and cover over the abstract oneness of spirit. The statement you refer to from John's Gospel is true in content, for Christ is spirit and is identity in God. The ego does not understand content, for all the ego recognizes is form. Christ and the kingdom of heaven are the same in spirit, and thus the universal spirit is the way to remember God. Jesus is a symbol that has been used to a point, to point to the Christ, the universal spirit which is beyond form entirely. Jesus, as a form or symbol, is an illusion, as all forms are illusion. The ego wants to make an idol of Jesus or anyone or anything to maintain the belief in illusion. The Holy Spirit's use of symbols is to lead beyond symbols, as the Holy Spirit's use of time is to lead beyond time. Time and eternity cannot be reconciled, for one is illusion and one is truth. The truth is true and only the truth is true. So, in answer to your question, two stances about form can never be reconciled. From the dualistic perspective, which sees too is the error, is the ego. The unified or single perspective of the Holy Spirit is the content, 
which is beyond the possibility of contradiction or duality or multiplicity. What is the same cannot be different and what is one cannot have separate parts. Oneness is natural. Oneness simply is. Love and blessings forever and ever. Holy One.